All right, guys, here's another quick tutorial on how to change the tackiness of the dirt. So you go to World Editor, press F11, go to Window, Ground Model Debug, and um, find the dirt, because that's how dirt will act, or grass, or whatever you want to change, mud. Go to the sliding coefficient. It's going to be set to 0.78 from default for this map. Let me save that just to make sure. So if you want it slippier, slippy rear, press or let it go down. So point to 18 is going to be pretty drastic, but it's just an example. So see how it handles kind of like ice. Then if you want it to be really tacky, again, 1.5 track should never be that, but it's just an example how tacky it is. I mean, it just grips the truck really fast. So this is another thing to customize your maps on, um, depending on the venue or what you got, where it is, outdoors, muddy. Instead of using the mud that beam comes with, you can just use our nice dirt texture and change it to mud, like have it slide. Or if you have a clay substance, have it be tacky. Either or. So, there you go. See you in the next tutorial. So I was actually wrong in the how to change the tackiness of dirt part portion of this. If you change it in game, it actually doesn't save. But if you go in game and do it like I said, then it will let you know how it acts. Then just go in your map, go to the ground files, ground mo ground models folder. Jeez, then open my ground models, and whatever you change, say sliding fi friction. How mine was at 0.90, change it in game to 0.78, and I like how that acted. So just change it here, 0.78, save it, and close. Uh, if you change it in game, then save it. It doesn't overwrite this ground models folder. So with this file. So then when you load in the map again, it doesn't it doesn't save. So just make sure if you change that to change it in this JSON code. That's it.